going on out there, everybody? So, August 22nd, of course. Vlogist, day 22. Um, I gotta be honest. I mean, I've been pretty inconsistent with videos for the past, like, three months. Four months, maybe. So, I'm glad that I got to do, <clears throat> excuse me, this whole Vlogist thing where I was, you know, may not have done it every single day. I think I missed two or three days so far. But, I mean, it's been... It's definitely been way more consistent and easier. Uh, I, mean, I know my videos aren't really structured. It's more like me just fucking ranting and, and saying like weird stuff. But uh, but it's definitely been good to like get back in the swing of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, not a whole lot going on today. I just worked like a few hours of overtime just to make a little bit of extra money. Uh, nothing too crazy. Did some grocery shopping. Probably should have done a grocery haul to be honest, but all that stuff's all put away now and I don't want to like dig it back out you know what I mean so just one of those things where I gotta like get home from the grocery store set everything out on the table and then just like do it um get back in the swing of doing stuff like that too and, and I do have some recipe videos that I've been uh, thinking about putting out as well but I think I'm gonna wait um maybe until after August is over um or maybe maybe I'll do one either tomorrow or or something, I don't know, we'll see, maybe like a bonus video, maybe to make up for the three days of vloggers that I missed, perhaps, who knows, but anyway, so I'm just hanging out, don't really have a whole lot to talk about today, as it was pretty slow, but just wanted to check in, uh, shouting out to the new subscribers, of course, been subscribing back, I'm about to go back on there and hit up the, the brand new subscribers, subscribe back, you know, support your supporters, support like-minded people, all that stuff. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And then kind of wanted to do some product reviews here as well, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow on that. Um, basically what I wanted to talk about today was, I uh, kind of touch back on the video that I did the other day about how to be a badass vegan. Um, because I think there's this weird, like, misconception that, like, being a badass basically means, like, you just go around and you're a tough guy and you just, like, beat everybody up or whatever, right? And, like, there's this thing that, like, vegans are, you know, meant to be, or not meant to be, but, like, thought of as, like, sick, weak, um, frail, you know, whatever. But, and so, like, a lot of people will, like, lift weights and build up and stuff like that, which is cool if that's what you want to do. Like, that's, that's great. I'm not hating on that at all. Like, I think that's fantastic, actually. Um just to kind of prove that wrong, you know what I mean? Just to prove that, you know, vegans can can do that stuff. And that's fine. And I might end up doing that here come winter when I start getting into weights a little bit more. But for the time being, I'm just going to stick to my cycling and running and, and stuff like that. Um, speaking of that, a little update on the Garmin 310 XT. That's what I've been using the past couple years. Died on me. So right now I'm in the process of looking for a new one. Um, but the problem is I'm, I'm trying to find like a multi-sport one that's still, you know, affordable. Um, cause there was one that was like, you can get a refurbished one with the, like the warranty and stuff. And it was just over a hundred bucks, which I thought was like really cheap. I thought, oh, that's a great deal. I should get that, but it's not multi-sport. I can't do cycling with it. It's only for running. Um, and it's not waterproof, so I couldn't swim with it either. So I don't know. Uh, I'm I've kind of limited myself to Garmin's at this point. Um, but if if you know of any other brands, I know there's other brands out there. Like I think TomTom Tom makes them and stuff like that. I have no idea if those are any good. Those might be garbage for all I know. I don't know. If you know anything or if you have a suggestion on like one that's relatively affordable, uh, but it does multi sport and it's durable, just like the 310 XT. I like the 3 310 XT. I can get another one. Um, but Garmin basically wants me to send in my old unit, have them review it, and then I'm going to have to end up paying like a hundred and some odd dollars for a new 310 XT. Uh, but I can just buy a new 310 XT on Amazon for the same price, basically. So less hassle. So who knows? I may end up getting another 310 XT just because, you know, it's it's one of those ones where I can do multiple sports and blah, blah, blah. But again, if you know of a, a good one, good model for Garmin or, or any company, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to, to explore other options. Um, really the main reason why I stuck with Garmin is because most of my other stuff is Garmin. You know, I have the cadence meter on my bike. 
uh, the ANT stick that I have to upload all my stuff, my heart rate monitors, Garmin, uh, ANT. So, but if there's other ones that work, you know, I'm certainly open to it. Uh, if you have anything, post it down below. I'll certainly review it. What do you use? Do you use a heart rate monitor? Do you use a cadence meter on your bike? Uh, if so, what do you use? All that good stuff. But back to the badass thing. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of like going off here. Uh, yeah, so back to the badass thing. Being a badass is, is not necessarily being tough or being anything like that, really. It's just being yourself. Like, having the courage to be yourself makes you a badass, basically. You know what I mean? Uh, being a vegan, like, the hardest thing, I think, for most people um, is social disapproval. It's, like, considered weird to be vegan, you know? And people don't like being, like, that person. They don't like being outed and, and being, like, singled out, basically, you know? So it makes a lot of people uncomfortable, and maybe they give in and, and eat something when they're out with their friends that maybe they wouldn't typically eat just to kind of fit in or whatever. But, you know, I don't know. That's not me. I just I just don't give a shit. Like, if I'm out, out with my friends and they're eating whatever, like, I'll just eat whatever the fuck I want because, like, I just don't fucking care, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, people find it weird. When I mentioned that I don't wear leather or I don't, you know, wear wool or, like, use any animal products or anything like that, um, they find it weird. And that that's fine. That's their opinion. But, like, I'm not going to let that affect me in any way. You know what I mean? So, basically... That's my defini definition of a badass, is somebody who can be themselves and be comfortable with themselves and just not give a fuck what people think, basically. Like, fuck the social disapproval. People are already fucking brainwashed, basically, anyway. So you don't need to pay attention to what brainwashed people are doing anyway. You know what I mean? Be yourself. Um, just be, be the difference, basically. You know, be the example. Be the shining example that the vegan community needs. We need more people that are out there making videos, doing positive things rather than, you know, bullshit so anyway guys that's about it i don't want to go on too long here i gotta save some for tomorrow i guess but anyway everybody out there i hope you're having a good weekend so far enjoy your saturday night i'll talk to you tomorrow take care